This is Titai on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Ozzy Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. It's good, it's good. Hi. It's pop and TGIF. <laughs> yeah, happy yeah. Friday. Mm, great Friday. <laughs> mm. You guys look very mischievous. What's going on? You want to share? Mm. It is girls are mischievous. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, you guys share the same birthday month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Bed sign too. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's move on with our shift. To add up. Mm. The CEO of Chatterhouse, Teresa Ayuade, says that this year's edition of Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, slated for August, will have a live audience. According to her, the venue for the event would host about 100 people while observing the needed health protocols, including social distancing. This 100 would consist of artists who would perform and other nominated acts. Um, the event will, however, be 80% virtual and 20% live. Mm. Uh, I can live with that. Yeah, makes mm. sense. Mm -hmm. Properly well, sense. well thought out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm hoping that they they are quite serious about execution. Like I've always said, initiation is not uh, initiative is not the problem. Mm -hmm. Implementation is. Mm. I mean, if it's hard to do things like sit, keep a, a seat in between, don't give special treatments to someone to not do that. If they, you need to wear a mask, if you need to, I don't know, whatever it is that you need to do because it takes. yeah, I mean, there's there's new st um, studies that are showing that it could be airborne in places that are not well ventilated mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure it's going to have an AC and stuff so you have to start really considering all of those things and forgetting for a minute looking cool if that makes sense and actually doing what you need to do if not this could really backfire but mm -hmm. I like the initiative and I like that we're trying to slowly still have a sense of gathering because there's just some things that it's just nice to have and I like that they're also doing it for the artists so like the artists are still part of that hundred so it's mostly for them and I think that that's cool and the fans can join virtually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing, especially when we're saying that this is something that may become the norm and something mm -hmm. we would have to live with. So we need to start adjusting to how we can st still keep our events going and still be able to give our best at it, exact, ex especially the artists, because there's are people that work their butts off and they're trying to put things out there and then the fans are consuming. Mm -hmm. So it's only fair for you to pay them back for their ad work, giving them awards, recognitions and all that to see how it works out. So it's amazing and most especially because we need to get our lives back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to go down this line, but I think I have to. I mean, it's interesting to know that the CEO is a woman and you have mm. you seen the statistical statistics <laughs> of how countries have been led by women and countries that have been led by men and how mm. it is playing out. And mm. I like that. It shows that the way she gave out the speech and mm. talked about the processes, it shows that she had actually put in a lot of mm. thought into it. Mm. And she's doing what women do. Can so we mm -hmm. not just make Goodness. this about gender? And just I have to make it about it though. Because but when a like man, when it's a man, when we say things like it's a man, you guys need to so stop picking and choosing. You but need you to, the head now. It's not about being the head. It's about, <laughs> oh, it's not? you know, things like this are the things that affect it from sticking. Because when we mm. start pace, uh, putting preference or making emphasis on or, or laying emphasis on the fact that it's a woman who does this can we just all be human and do things that's that okay, okay. First, first, of, first, first of all that's mm. some bull crap mm -hmm. because this is already a man's world you have a lot of it athletes. isn't a man's why are you, world why you're is fighting it, how for many? it not to be a man's world and suddenly it's mm. a man's world what exactly are you saying you need to fight choose your Focus on your focus. What exactly do you, you don't, want? You really stop, don't think it's a man's world. Stop choosing. Because stop if choosing. how many stop, stop times? Like today, how many? It's a woman's world. Tomorrow, it's a man's when is, world. When has there been a woman's when, world? Every day, it is a woman's world. Exactly how we okay, want the world to be, and this is what we're fighting for. So can we skip? Ife, this, 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 this is the world we're fighting this for. This world. This world. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I hate the whole world. picking and choosing. Let's just focus. No, you can't do that. Let's have a point. Don't tell me you're angry that we're celebrating women. Something is wrong. Okay, Ife, it's a human. Person that is a female. <laughs> And she has done amazing. Well. 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 No, you are. It's okay. We stop. want to celebrate the women. Can who we have just stop making everything about gender and okay. just focus? Because I when we start making, when we make it look like it's normal, then it becomes normal. When you celebrate it because it's extraordinary, then it looks like it's extraordinary. It's called it's being tone deaf. That's what you're preaching. It's not. That's like, like an all lives matter nonsense vibe that you're talking okay. about. Like everyone be royal, everyone be loving and dovey. That's not the reality, sweetheart. But please, well, let's. Some of us, some of us don't get 
overly excited or surprised when a woman is doing great things because we expect women to do great things. So After let us stop making all these obstacles in front of them. You still put the obstacles in front of them. We're changing all of these things. And you think it's changed? Are you, it is are you, changing. Okay, and if we we're fighting for you to change, then it should change. And when we come Simple. back, we'll and I love to say when it changes now. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DMs sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time Plus TV Africa. So moving on to other conversations. According to statistics, Ghana dancehall icon Stoneboy has just become the first Ghanaian recording and performing artist to have his album to reach 20 million streams on Audio Max streaming app. Mm. Yeah. Congratulations <coughs> to him. I think Stoneboy is making waves. The Especially whole with this talking new about album. him is definitely working. Like mm. we've been speaking about Stoneboy for like how long now? And yes, it's definitely the. If it was it you who suggested that he may he may be PR stunt or was it mm -hmm. me? I know one of us had that. Um, what's it called now? It wasn't Misha. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe PR stunts for his new music, his new album and all of that. So obviously, if that's what the intention was, it definitely worked because it's definitely winning and it's, you know, getting multiple streams and all that, especially on Audio Mac, which is also an international platform as well with a lot of competitions, a lot of albums to stream and all that. So that's a big, that's a big one. I'm proud. I think they need more of this type of wins because I think Ghana, Ghanaian music has for me has been one of those musics that I think deserves the international recognition that hasn't. Um, you can say you can say that Nigeria has got that, mm. even Tanzania and all those people. But I feel like Ghana music hasn't really done much on an international platform, and their sound is so unique and worthy of that. That mm. I'm really glad that this is happening for for Stoneboy. Um, even yes, it, let's even say that maybe it's PR. I still think that sometimes you can traffic something. To, and then when we get there, we don't really like what we're seeing, and it's mm. a joke. The, I think his music has still been able to speak for itself, mm. despite the fact that there has been PR traffic or whatever. I think the talent is really there, and that's what and music business is about. So mm. he has to do the job anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I like that he's he has this because he's been there for a while. Like he's not just today. So I like that he's having a lot of that, and it's not just um, Sakode that we're hearing anymore when mm. I hear Stoneboy. I mean, I've always known Stoneboy, but I've never listened to his music. I mean, but this I've is always known time. him for the quarrels and fights and all. This is <laughs> yeah. the first time that we're really having a conversation regarding his art and yeah. him making waves and breaking records. So mm. kudos to him. I think mm. he's doing something right. I, I saw on Twitter when somebody said that this is the first time that an, that an African is actually helping create clout for an American, and they were referring to the Carrie Hilson, Carrie, Carrie Hilson, oh, wow. Carrie Hilson song one. because it's actually quite true. No, I don't I think, think that Carrie Hilson has gotten mm. 20 million streams on a platform for any of her music. At time, least yeah. maybe not in 10 years at least because that wow, song was mm. ages ago. So this is really good that she collaborated with yeah. some boy. Mm. Was it Carrie Hilson that was with, um, what's his name, Neo now on Sometimes Love? Yes. Yeah. I love that tune. There's another that one with Lil Wayne. Yes. Wow. Yes. I was in okay. All right. So moving on. Pato Rankin recently um, awarded 10 African students full paid scholarships. In a post shared on Instagram, Pato Rankin said the 10 exceptional young people were selected after reviewing hundreds of applications. He also revealed he's currently taking care of 150 kids in his hometown. Mm. Now say kudos to Pato Rankin. Mm. It's a good way to be in the news. I mean, um, the scholarship, of course, warmed my heart, and I think the response about um, 150 kids being taken care of has to be definitely Nigerians and their backlash. You're saying, "What have you done for 
the people your own hometown and where you came from and you had to respond to that mm. so congratulations to the 10 um students um going to get this opportunity and i hope that they make him proud make the organization proud or make mm. the ngo proud yeah mm. this is a big deal i i barely I, I i don't think i've ever seen this in the music space in nigeria i've seen people in the music it. space do a lot of like philanthropy work but mm -hmm. to invest so much in education it's almost like an oxymoron because usually people leave music um, education for music mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's not common to see those two things thrive together like somebody who is actively in music also actively striving for education it's very rare so i'm i'm i was really taken aback that that was his interest to be able to do this and go all out on you know leadership and, and academy and things like that for children like it's so it's amazing it's a big deal <laughs> and he needs like recognition for that I, I, like i wouldn't mind these clouds to go on and on and on like this should be something that is contagious i've always preached about like having sustainable um giving and this is one of them i don't think in africa there is a better gift to give someone in our society than education because mm -hmm. money will finish um but the like that he's doing that and even the way he picked them was so just every, see i could gosh on and on and on, on, on. It, mm. it, it was Let's amazing turn down the gosh. yeah okay I like, I like this too and what really caught my interest was that somebody who is actually actively involved in music is still so interested in education but i now figured that okay at the end of the day when you become successful as whatever it is you you do and you had dreams of doing certain things like um, it's okay to live vicariously through all the people and I believe um, this is like one of those things in as much as it is um, a philanthropical thing to do for people it is also something that you need to know that okay if you have a dream that you can and you see other people who share the dream a dream you had there's nothing wrong with helping them achieve it even despite the fact that you personally couldn't achieve those mm. dreams because I think that that makes a lot of sense and this is um, a new groundbreaking achievement that yeah. a lot of artists should um, look into and begin to track this part. I love the vibe I get from it. I feel like it has a system around it. And the other person I have seen, maybe there are others I haven't noticed in the industry, so please don't come for me. But the other person I'm going to know, I've, I've noticed doing something like this that is well structured, even if it's not um, solely education, is mm. Mr. Easy. Mm. Because he has um, an organization and mm. what he's doing with Empower, and he's doing a lot with that as well. Mm. So I'm hoping that we would see more organized um, mm. giving, giving that was what is it you called it now given that it's sustainable that would help people grow mm. and become someone who can also mm. give in return and that way we are creating an ecosystem that would actually yeah. change africa for the yeah. better so yes kudos to him and um, we want more of this Okay, so moving on to the next story, Bob Marley's family, in a bid to bring the world together in response to the global pandemic, has announced a remake of Bob Marley's iconic song, One Love. This new version will feature Nigeria reggae dance hall artist Pat Rankin again, a member of uh, Marley's family, as well as other artists around the world. The global project is expected to raise funds to support children in developing countries where help is urgently needed. And of course, this in, in support of UNICEF um, coronavirus relief um, response. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's beautiful. It's the, fir the first thing I thought about when I read the story was that it could be a success because I saw this with um, Stuck With You by Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. That song has over a million, like, well, a hundred or something million views on YouTube and th it's that's like the minimum income with all the other platforms that they're on and every single income that's coming from there is going to the children of those who fought coronavirus, like the nurses mm. and doctors of that. So I think that was the first time I saw that an initiative like that could work. And it was very low budget. Everyone just sent videos to them from, the house, from yeah. their houses and things like that. And yet they had so much money from that. So the the prestige that comes with being a, a Mali, for example, I know that there will be a lot of attraction to that. And even just by listening and watching, you're in a way supporting a really good cause. So it's a very smart idea and it's something that should be done. Like it's, it's not going to cost you much. I'm glad that Pato Ranking is also on there. Obviously, it shows that his heart is in the right place and that he's a an artist that's conscious, if that's the word to use. He's conscious about how he um, uses his privileges and stuff. So it's really good. I want to see the song. I hope it bangs because there was one 
um, song that they did one time was but it was just not it's real not bad, Nigerian. It's one love. I'm sure they're not going to change the the, the tone. The, the tune because there was one that, that they were really, really complaining about ages mm -hmm. ago when I was younger. I, and Michael Jackson was in that one, and there was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot um, of backlash. We had the world. I think. Had the world. Yeah. There was a lot of backlash when they tried to do that again with coronavirus period because it looked oh, insensitive. Yeah, we I think we talked about it. So they were like, "You're sitting from your house, just saying one one." <laughs> And that's you know you should do more blah blah blah. Anyway, there's there's a way, there's a right way to do it, mm -hmm. and I hope that they I'm sure they would do just that here as well. Okay. Mm, big shout out to um, the Mali family and um, every other artist is going to jump on this project because yeah, Bob Mali is a living <laughs> I said he's a living legend. <laughs> he's a legend, and his music will forever live on. It's one of those timeless kind of music that I'm sure 50 years from now, Bob Mali will still be very relevant. So there's no way you would say they're not going to make profit from this, and the fact that the profit is being made to help a lot of other people that are in need is totally amazing. And I think. It's a, it's a welcome development and congratulations to all the Nigerian artists like part of ranking on this one. Big hmm. shout out to you. I just felt like tea time was became corn news for like for minutes now. So let's go to the gege parts. Okay. <laughs> Video of Megan the Stallion shooting incident is being tracked down by Los Angeles um, police. Um, now we remember we had the conversation when um, Tori was arrested and of course there's been speculations that had made um, Megan come out to say she wasn't arrested. She was driven to the hospital by um, the policeman to get the bullet out of her leg. And of mm. course, we were supposed to discuss um, the Kardashian course mm. yesterday. That's another spin to the conversation. And um, it's been said that, of course, they were hanging out with, um, um, what's the name of the Kardashian sister right now? Kylie. Kylie and before the whole drama happened. And mm. she went unskated, you know. So, mm. I mean, what's going on? I don't right. know. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I still want to, I hope they find the video because. I don't think Megan is going to talk. And the fact that she is not talking mm -hmm. is more reason why I think that that bullet was from him. Because when celebrities do that, I think Ch uh, Chef, whatever, Chi is a good example of that. <laughs> when there's something wrong happening and there's all these rumors and stuff, and they start to pick and choose which rumor they want to address, address. then I can, oh, I can almost confidently say that the way I know address is because it's not a rumor, it's mm -hmm. true. Um, so I, I think that that's what's happening here. Because she could have... Honestly speaking, eh, the amount of people that said that thought that she was arrested was like one percent. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, everybody knew that she was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. All the media outlets were saying nobody she was said in the she was arrested. Nobody said she was arrested, sis. They said, "Who shot you, fam? Mm -hmm. Who shot you? Tell us." And then she ignored that. So I feel like if she wanted to really address something that was really trending about this story, she would have. So. Um, and then she also mentioned that how she wanted to keep her mental space and that she's now seeing how, like, the type of people that are coming to... So I know somebody, either Kylie Jenner or Tori... Shot her. Yes, or... <laughs> no, maybe not shot her, but... Cause maybe the not shooting, Kylie, though. <laughs> or, or cause the shooting. Okay, there cause, was that yeah. drama mm -hmm. from these people and it was negative. So I'm hoping that we can get the gist with or without my gun. Hopefully. Us. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the stories that you just want to hear the full gist, like, what exactly happened? Like, mm. we can make a movie out of this gist, you know? Like, um, but like you you have said, um, it's almost impossible for Tori not to be involved because mm. um, our producer, Leo Joe, made the beat, also put out a statement. He put, count your um, effing days. Mm. That is, and he, he was, tagged he was Tory Lanez. in possession, really, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and he also tagged <laughs> Tory Lanez. It's not like he was saying it and then we mm. had to put one and two together. Mm. He said, at Tory Lanez, count your effing days. Mm. Do you understand? So, and that's a popular producer mm. so mm. obviously Tory Lanez has something to do with it either he, even if he didn't shoot it directly mm. he probably cost the shooting yeah or he cost the shooting or it was the Tory Lanez they were coming for mm. and um, the, um she got involved I, 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 I don't think, think it's, it's their good. life and all but how do you even get close to someone like Tory Lanez I don't do, like, do you know that, that, that was the next the, thing I was going to say I said I was going to say that with Megan I think I mean we've there, there's been so many stories about um when you're grouping genres of music and then their lifespan so mm. country music people live the longest mm. and then rap lives the shortest mm. um, but i think she needs to start really um thinking harder about her life away from this music i think she has a lot going for her but the pace in which she's going i'm not trying to confess rubbish you're just according to pattern you get into more she's getting into a drama too, too wasn't she much. the one coming out to address how she thought her songs was, were stolen mm. or she, the, her record label wasn't mm -hmm. giving her enough and then trying to drag jay-z into the drama yeah and, all. and, and then now just, you're, you're getting yeah. closer to guns like really sis i mean i get that you're like 
you know, how girls summer, if I was with you that, yes, that, like <laughs> last summer, I was with you 100%, but let's just tone it down. Like, Nicki Minaj has been in the game for how long? We haven't seen her around gone. So think about it, sis. Hmm. Think. Just too funny. Hmm. Think about it. <laughs> just too funny. Okay. <laughs> That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and just send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, me. and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. Thank you.